Hello, and welcome to this this review of me opening um, a a product. So yes, I did um, splurge a little bit and I got myself some notebooks and then I got the pen. I did not expect it to be in such a small sort of package. This pen might suck or it might really surprise me. Let's check it out. Oh, that's actually really nice. Well, ever since that video, I realized I needed a pen that was a little smaller uh, because I feel like that would be something beneficial to me. I like to carry around um, notebooks and uh, sometimes the pens, I mean, I guess, I guess when you look at the notebook size, it really isn't that big of a difference, but I feel like maybe it is a little bit. And I got the Field Notes Space Pen. I don't really know anything about this pen. I have not done any research. I just know that I've been buying from Field Notes for a while, specifically because I like the Field Notes branding on the top of the book. It, it makes me feel like I'm 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 at work or doing a project or or like an archaeologist or something. So I had seen that they had this pen on there, and I wasn't really into it because I'm very specific with my pens. I like the nib to be a very, I just like it to be good. And I don't like Bic, and I don't like, um, just like those paper mate. Well, it was only $27 or 28, something like that. So I figured, what the heck? Well, I guess they have the dimensions online. Oh, wow. This is really nice. Though I must admit, So I already have some first opinions on this pen. Um, number one, I don't usually use the word cute, uh, but that was actually really cute. I didn't expect it to be like such a, I mean, I know it's a tiny pen. It's a space pen. I read the description and I didn't watch any reviews or videos about it or see any pictures of it next to something, but I didn't expect it to be this, um, this tiny. And it's a, a funny kind of, uh, little box for it. It's, uh, you know, moon kind of-esque. For reference, this is a regular sized pen. This is the space pen. I am not the space pen. And when you put the cap on this, it actually becomes a full-sized pen. I went with the chrome version. There's two versions. There's matte black and chrome. I went with the chrome uh, because it's a space pen. Two things. Um, while I like its size, the finishing on it, um, I do see some maybe issues with it rolling on a table uh, because that's what makes caps so great is you put them down and they don't roll. Whereas this, I mean, let's test it. Yeah, it rolls. So that's something I guess I have to be mindful of. Also, I didn't think about it, but when I have a capped pen, this is how I keep it with my book, right? Like that's normal, natural. This, I guess it's just going to be free flowing in the pocket. Number two, and here's my, okay, is this number three actually? Here's my judging on the pen. That pen point does not look promising. It looks very rounded. It looks like it's gonna write like a Bic. All right, moment of truth, everybody.
<sighs> well, suffice to say, the writing of the pen sucks. It's very unpleasant. It writes exactly as I saw it to write, just like a paper mate or a Bic pen, you know, the ones they give you in school when you don't have a pen. I can see me carrying it around, you know, in my pocket for, for quick notes on the go if I'm looking to travel with my notebook for a day. And I also like that it goes into a full pen uh, when capped. So those are my uh, my initial thoughts of the Field Notes Fisher pen, the tiny, um, tiny space pen. So that's it. That's all I had. That's all I had. Um, yeah. That's it for this one.